this is a very special moment for the Warsaw Film Festival. We've just had a world premiere of an Icelandic film inside a volcano and its creators are with us. If you guys could just introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Saivar Gudmundsson and this is Sölve Tryggvason. He's the producer and I'm the director. Uh, if you could tell us a little bit about the film, it is a documentary about the story, backstory behind the Icelandic team getting qualified uh, for a very, very big uh, tournament. Was it difficult to make this project? Uh, it was easy to say yes to it because uh, I'm a huge fan of football uh, altogether and um, uh, the hard part was there was absolutely no money for it, money in it. Uh -huh. So for like one and a half year we worked on it uh, pro bono and just hoped they would qualify so we would someday make a, make a film with a, with a good ending and, and uh, yeah, get paid. Is money the only trick a producer has to work with making this film or were there other obstacles that were particularly difficult for you? Yeah, a lot of ob obstacles. Uh, first of all, it was very difficult just to convince the football, football federation and the coaches to let someone so close to them that they had never had anyone nearly as close to them as we were uh, during these two years. Uh, there were a lot of lines we couldn't step on uh, and then uh, of course when you have not so much money uh, you have to be smart when you're arranging things and uh, in organization and everything. Mm -hmm. During the making of the film at any point were you worried that this is not going to work out, that the material is not good enough? Was there a moment like that? Uh, mm, no, no, well, maybe, yes, we, we, but we didn't like think a lot of it. Uh, if they weren't going to qualify, we were going to make a um, half an hour TV um, show with sell for small amounts of money. And, and, uh, but at least we had fun doing the, the film. And, but luckily, uh, we have a great team and uh, Mm, yeah, they qualified and everything went great. Mm -hmm. I understand when your national team, and it's a small nation, is winning, it's a very rewarding experience for the nation. What was the most rewarding thing about this project for you guys as filmmakers? That's a good question. Uh, it was just, at least for me, because I, I got the idea for this film, it was just very, very rewarding to, to see the film premiered. Uh, to see a small idea become a full-length movie is just very, very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously a great success in a tournament is always uh, a sense of satisfaction and a source of satisfaction for the players, for the fans. But I think in the case of Iceland this has been more than just a sports thing. How would you describe this experience as a transformation one for the nation or how do you see it? Uh, yeah, I, th I think the, the whole country has, uh, like everybody has jumped on the football train. Uh, even if you uh, didn't like football before, uh, you really like football now. So I think 95% of the population, you know, they're, they're all on the train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it, it actually, handball has always been our pride. The, hand, the national handball team, now there is a switch, definitely. So the national football team is now the thing that unites the country, I would say. Mm 